this book is. Look out, stripy horse. Magic was at work in the stri stripy horse's shop. Magic and mischief. Nothing looked quite the way it should. Help! barked Herman, the draw excluder. I've been tied in a knot. Goodness, twittered Muriel from her lank shed. I've been scribbled on. A tissue, sneezed Roller, the salt, the salt pot penguin. I've been filled with pepper. And I've been filled with salt, groaned his pepper pot partner, Pitch. Oh dear, oh dear, Moses the lion shaped lock looked out for, of, from his wooden trunk. Someone's for, someone forgot to lock me up and now the monkeys have escaped. Monkeys? asked the stripey horse. Those mischievous monkeys from the monkey puzzle, growled the lion. And they've taken my key. What shall I do without it? Try this said Herman, and he popped a pencil into Morris's mouth. Mmm, jumped the lion. Look out, stripy horse, flapped Muriel. A monkey darted from the shadows and ran straight towards them. Whee! There goes my key, roared Mortis. Not so fast, you pesky primer, cried Rolly and Fitch. But the monkey slipped out of their net. Stop, thief, bellowed Herman, as the mischievous monkey swung up and away. Oh, they're slippery, those monkeys, sighed the lion. Don't worry, said the stripy horse, I'm very good with slippery object objects. And he galloped after Herman. Crash! They were all so busy watching the monkey that they forgot to watch one another. Plonk, thud, wallop. Well, you won't catch a monkey like that, said Mortis. How are we supposed to catch them? asked the stripy horse. We must get all the monkeys to stand on top of the jigsaw, explained Mortis. Then shout, Ells up, Yeknom, as loudly as we can, and the monkeys will be pulled back into the puzzle. Ells up, Yeknom, said Herman. That sounds like fun, but we'll need to make the jigsaw first, said Pitch. Come on, Rolly. I've had an idea, trailed Mariel as the final pieces slid together. Follow me, everyone. To get the monkeys back on top... Oh, they all squeezed under the sideboard. To get the monkeys back on top of their puzzle, whispered Mariel, we need something they can't resist. What do you mean? asked Pitch. Bananas! woofed Herman. Exactly, said Mariel. We'll give the monkeys the biggest banana they've ever seen. And where do we get one of those? asked the stripy horse. Mary smiled. Wait and see. What do you think, everyone? chuckled Herman. Are you sure this is going to work? grumbled Mortis. The friends crawled back under the sideboard and waited. All was silent except for the ticking of the cuckoo clock. Then a shadow darted across the room. Slowly, slowly, one of the monkeys stole into view, then another and another, until soon six monkeys were creeping towards everyone, held their breath. Herman, the prize banana. L began rolling. Wait, hushed Muriel. Don't shout until they're all on top of the puzzle. The monkey crept closer. Now, whispered the stripy horse. L's up, Yeknam, everyone cried. Flash, bang, whiz. The shop lit up with sparkling, crackling light. The monkeys were tossed into the air and then with a great whoosh, they were sucked back down into the puzzle. Quickly, said Muriel. Put the puzzle back inside the trunk before those monkeys get up to any more tricks. But we can't lock the puzzle away until I get my key back, said Mortis. Where can it be? Cuckoo! It was five o'clock. The cuckoo at the top of the clock shot in and out five noisy times. There it is, flapped Muriel. The lion's missing key dropped from the cuckoo's beak. Look out below, called Muriel. Got you, said the stripy horse, and he caught the shiny key. Click, the stripy horse turned the key in the lion's mouth and the monkey puzzle was safely locked away. Mmm, jumped Mortis. Thank you, stripy horse. Pencils are all well and good, but you can't beat a nice tasty key. 
Day was breaking as the friends settled back into their places for a well-earned rest. And all was quiet in the shop once more. The end. Thanks for watching. If you like the story, please subscribe.